Uh, hello, my name is Dave Harbour. I am the Head of Geography at uh, Uffingham School. Um, I guess the, the most important thing with geography is this idea of uh, the learning more about the, the location, the processes, the environments that we live in, and looking at the interrelationships between those things and how the concepts work. Um, and there's a lot of skills as well, so looking at map skills, looking at interpreting data, analysing data, and, and taking that data and trying to make a comprehensive answer to a question using the knowledge that you've learned. Uh, geography is one of the most important subjects as far as I'm concerned and, and we have quite a lot of students talking to us uh, as they go on to college talking about you know whether they think they should do geography and it's one of these subjects that's very uh, open-ended it, it allows you to keep the doors open to go on to a lot of subjects I think there's a saying that says something about uh, you know there isn't one job a geographer can do but there are a lot of jobs that geographers can do uh, which basically is it sums it up This is a really subjective question because it, it, it's such a wide variety of different uh, topics. So we study the human side and we study the physical side and there's three topics on each side. Um, I mean, while I was at school, I really liked the physical stuff, but actually I really find the human stuff interesting now. Uh, and you find that students have that as well and they find that some things are more interesting than others. So one of the things I really like teaching is, is Rio de Janeiro and the challenges that face the people of Rio, the opportunities that are in Rio, the living in the favelas, that sort of stuff. But equally I really like teaching about hot deserts and tropical rainforests. So the, the study of the human element, element is, is very interesting, you know, looking at why are people moving into places. So not only do we look at um, Nigeria and Rio, we also look at the UK and the reasons around Bristol in particular is a case study we look at. You know, how has that developed from the port that it was to this incredible city that it is today? And it, and it relies on a totally different set of uh, economic factors than it did from when it was a, a fishing port so, or a trading port. If you ask the other colleagues in the department, they probably would say something different to me. So everyone has their favourite part of geography. We continually assess the students throughout the course. Um, we generally we'll do um, exam questions as homework, fairly regularly, every week probably. Uh, sometimes we do them in a class so that we've actually got each other to help um, look through how it works. Um, and then we'll do end of topic tests and we'll take previous papers and we'll do the end of topic test. And then we'll do mock exams as well uh, in year 10 and year 11. The big time, the big, the big exam back into May, June, uh, there are three papers. Uh, there's a physical paper, which is worth 35%, a human paper, which is 35%, and there's a third paper, which is a decision-making paper. It's called Geographical Applications. Um, of all papers to do, that is a fun paper, if that's a thing. Uh, but we have information that is sent to the school before the exam. We look through it. And then in the exam, you have the same information and you answer questions based on that. So you're basically making a decision based on information that you've looked at and you can uh, pull into your answer. So there's a lot of uh, content in the GCSE and we tend to start teaching year nine, the GCSE after Christmas. Uh, so we do coasts and then we do rivers. And that lets us then start year 10 and take year 10 down to the River Calm and do our field work down there. It's a really great river to do it on. It's got all of the features that we need uh, and it doesn't cost any money. So, and then we write it up and that's our, our bit of field work. And then the second part of the field work is the human side and we do Bristol in the September, October of year 11, we go up to Bristol, have a look at the, um, the docks and how they've redeveloped the docks and that sort of thing. Um, and then in recent years, we've also put together, it's not a field trip, but it is a geography trip. It's not a requirement, but it's a great thing to do. Um, Iceland, uh, three years I think we've done Iceland, and we did Sicily a couple of years ago as well, which uh, has become a very popular trip for us here at the school. I always say to students at options evening, you know, it, it, you've really got to make the decision yourself because you're going to end up doing this subject for the next 
two years, two and a half years. Uh, and if you don't enjoy it at all, then you really should choose something else. You know, I'm not there to force people to do geography. You know, it's got to be something you enjoy doing. Um, I'm totally biased and I think it's an absolutely brilliant subject and it does keep your options open going forward. Um, but also don't forget that geography is, is, there is quite a lot of written work in it as well. So you do have to compile your answers to your questions and they do have to be uh, in a way that are you know, detailed so that you can explain the processes that are going on. But yeah, you know, geography is definitely a great option and, and we do have a lot of students take it on.